General Purvez Musharraf chose the next head of Pakistan's army today in Islamabad. His successor, former Pakistani intelligence chief, Lieutenant General Ashfaq Kayani. Musharraf has promised to vacate his army post if he wins another five-year term as Pakistan's president. Munazai Jahangir from NDTV in Lahore gives us an update on the upcoming Pakistani elections and the appointment of Kayani. What's important about his appointment really is that he was uh, engaging in the negotiations with Benazir Bhutto on behalf of General Musharraf. So he's obviously uh, somebody who Benazir Bhutto would like to see when she does come to power. And uh, it gives us kind of an indication that the deal between the power sharing deal between uh, Musharraf and Benazir Bhutto is uh, materializing now. The entire opposition, apart from Benazir Bhutto's Pakistan People's Party, that has resigned today from the National Assembly and three of Pakistan's provincial assemblies. And this is going to put a big question mark to Musharraf's credibility. The fact that uh, uh, there have been mass resignations by the opposition just because he's running for uh, presidency and also retaining his post as chief of army staff you know, uh, puts him into a very controversial position. We have a long way to go before Saturday. It seems that tomorrow General Musharraf's candidate, I mean, his bid to get himself re-elected will be challenged. His eligibility as a candidate will be challenged in court. If that is upheld, then more or less they will give a stay order on the presidential elections. The presidential elections may be delayed. So there's a long way before Saturday, and there's a lot to happen this week.